Let me look something up. Alright, I better I better write down the information. Mr. McIntyre, I'm here for the interview. Good morning, Mr. Wood. Please take a seat. I'm gonna start by asking you a set of questions. So, Mr. Wood, what makes you want to join the job? Oh, it's because, like, you know, I always wanted to do photography and I've been starting in since I was five. So, how much are you wanting to get paid? Salary doesn't matter. I just want the job. and uh, I own a company called Art and Photography. I've been a photographer since 1984. I specialize in architectural photography and that's why we're sitting here in the School of Architecture at USC. What got you started into, in this, into this career? Uh, I went to four-year university. I did a junior year abroad program in France and I got a camera and I loved taking pictures. So I went back to finish up school I sort of finagled a way to take more photography class and a filmmaking class. And what advice would you give to a beginner? Just it, love what you're taking a picture of. Or if something else catches your eye, you start checking out other areas. Uh, was there anyone who inspired you? Well, in architecture, yes. Julius Schulman, he's considered the father of architectural photography. What do you like about taking uh, photos the most? So that I can see things that other people don't necessarily see, that I wait. I've learned to see light, and that's what's really the most important thing about photography. Uh, do you have any other plans for the future other than photography? Yes, because actually architectural photography, most of my days shooting were 14 hours long. I often never sat down. At the end of the day, I sit down. It was hard to sit, hard to move into sitting position after standing for hours. What are some things that you look for while taking photos? I, I check the weather pattern, and then I check the time of year so that I can track the sun. So when you take a picture, mm -hmm. do you just go off and just be like, all right, I'm gonna just take a picture, find out what I'm gonna take, or you have something planned in your head, what are you gonna do? It depends what I'm going for. So this is my typical commercial work, so this is the kind of thing I said I like, which is a you know high-end single-family home. It doesn't quite look like this. I really did a special process on this. This would be maybe an Instagram look. It's actually called HDR, High Dynamic Range which people know on their phone, but it's a different version. You take three different exposures and then sandwich them together. Um, and so this is a restaurant and a friend, I'm sitting here and a friend went to the bathroom and that's his computer bag. And so while he was gone, I was like looking and I just started taking some pictures and turned it into this and I really like it. So I sold that a couple of times. So when you take a picture, does it matter what camera you use or you could just take off? Yes, anything? it does. For If you want to make really high quality, good prints, you need a good uh, DSLR camera, the kind with a mirror in it. Oh, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Full frame sensor, what they call full frame. And they start at about $1,500. <laughs> but I've already spent two hours putting in about 15 strobe lights. That's like the flash on a camera, yeah, yeah, but these are big lights. And you have to hide them so you don't see them and hide the cords and they all go off simultaneously and it does that. So, before and after. So, was this taken so the in same, the dark? No, this is, take, this is taken the same time. I mean, this is taken, this, oh, this is taken, they're not that close in time. Oh yeah, maybe they were. They're taking a second apart. Which this one is, is the time. most, which one is the most like, 
expensive well, and powerful. Okay, for architecture, you want a wide angle lens, but that's for people who usually want a long lens. Yeah, yeah. You stand back further and you blur out the background. But actually, keep the building line straight. I don't know if you've ever thought about this, but when, normally when you're shooting architecture or building, yeah, yeah, you're yeah. aiming up and the building looks like it's falling over. So that you fix this inside the camera. You well, when you started as photography, did you start with something big or you just started with like a simple device? I went back to junior college in photography, Santa Monica College, and took courses. And I had a basic camera. Um, and then I needed to actually work. I mean, I had a job at the time and I saved money to buy an architect, what was called four by five large format architectural camera, which you had to have to do architecture then. You don't need that now. We start with anything. Yeah. Well, thanks for the sure. interview. Thank you, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Remember, Mr. Wei, this photo must show how photography affects our community. That's not a bad idea. Let me take a photo of that. I brought the photo that I promised you. Oh, Mr. Wei, this is exactly what we're looking for. As a reward, you get a million dollars. I am very pleased to have you in this company, Mr. Wei. Thank you, Mr. McIntyre. I appreciate it. This career fits my personality because uh, I like picture taking and I like it. This career doesn't fit my personality because photography is uh, a lot of hard work and you need the necessary materials. I think I would do great because I like photography and I think I should do a good work. The next level for this career is 1220. I think I will be able to reach it by the 12th grade. Something I could do right now is start taking pictures of my friends and posting them on Instagram. This career fits me because I enjoy uh, photo taking and I like how it looks. Uh, this career doesn't fit me because um, I don't really like uh, time taking. I would do good in, a, in an environment because I like video, video and photo taking uh, in any certain place. Alright, the next cell level that you need is a 1220. 1,220 uh, let's sell level and then um, what I could do to improve this is to read more. Something that I could do now is to uh, see how technology works. In order to see how editing works.
Remember, Mr. Way. This picture. Oh, I'm not. Cool. Cut. Remember, Mr. Way. Oh my. Remember, Mr. Oh. Remember, Mr. Way. This photo must demonstrate how kafu. Oh. Come on, man.